Israel blows up Iran drone. This is the moment an Israeli Apache helicopter blew up an Iranian drone. An Iranian drone was shot down on Saturday morning in northern Israel by the Israeli military. According to the Times of Israel, the drone was destroyed by an attack helicopter that engaged it after it flew inside Israel's airspace. The Iranian aircraft is said to be called a Thunderbolt drone. It is reportedly reverse engineered from an American RQ-170 Sentinel spy drone that Tehran captured in 2011. Both models bear resemblance to the B-2 stealth bomber. Here's the explosion again, courtesy of Israeli Defense Forces. Stick around for more on Israel. Israel blows up Hamas attack tunnel in Gaza. Israel announced on Sunday that it destroyed a terror infrastructure that infiltrated Israeli territory. Israel's defense forces detected a tunnel running from the Gaza Strip into Israel and Egypt, reportedly built by militant group Hamas. Israel has claimed to have an advanced system for detecting tunnels underground, but did not provide details. The concrete tunnel passed under the Karem Shalom crossing, the main passageway for goods entering Gaza, and was positioned near oil and gas pipelines. Authorities determined it was an attack tunnel and could be used by militants to go to Egypt from Gaza in order to attack Israel from the Sinai Peninsula. On Saturday, Israeli fighter jets launched an airstrike from the Gaza side that destroyed the tunnel. Three others have been destroyed in the last two months, with the military vowing to eliminate all Hamas attack tunnels by the end of 2018. Israel is going electric. Israeli transit service Dan Bus Company is set to invest over 2.2 million US dollars in technology that turns regular roads into an electric power source. Electric buses in Tel Aviv currently need to be charged via cable at departure stations, but this could soon be unnecessary. Elect Road has developed technology that powers vehicles from the road while driving, using conduction coils to wirelessly charge them through magnetic induction. With this innovation, there is no need for batteries or cable charging. It also boasts zero emissions, high efficiency, and low cost. The startup will be focusing on public transportation and will begin with laying larger coils underneath designated lanes to power the buses traversing the road daily. Eventually, Elect Road says it may even be possible to share energy between vehicles. Israel deploys Star Wars missile killer system. Israel has upgraded its missile defense system so that the country can be protected from the ground to outer space. The bottom tier of Israel's missile defense system is the Iron Dome Interceptor, which is designed to destroy short-range rockets and artillery shells fired up to 70 kilometers away. The second tier of the system is David's Sling, which is designed to shoot down mid-range, lower-altitude missiles. The Arrow 2 is designed to intercept missiles in low to high atmosphere. The latest addition, the Arrow 3, has a range of up to 2,400 kilometers and can be used as an anti-satellite weapon. With the Arrow 3 missile system, Israel and the United States may be the only countries that have the capability of shooting down targets in space. Caveman or long-lost time traveler? Scientists have unearthed something that effectively flips the table on everything we thought we knew about human evolution. The partial upper jawbone found during a 2002 excavation inside the Mizlia cave in Israel took scientists 15 years to date. Their research, which included virtual reconstruction, places the jawbone as between 170,000 and 200,000 years old. The oldest human remains on record were found at Jebel Irhud in Morocco. These are 300,000 years old. Many archaeologists believe humans migrated out of Africa around 60,000 to 150,000 years ago. The jawbone findings suggest humans left Africa 200,000 years ago. The jawbone contains five similarities to human jawbones. These are the small parabolic dental arch, an area of the incisive foramen. The finding corresponds with where the upper jaw and jaw ridge connect with the maxilla area of the human skull, as well as the position of the nasal cavity floor. If accepted as human, the jawbone could push back the history of human evolution by at least 100,000 years.